Hello, this is Leanne and I'm a book artist from the beautiful Pacific Northwest. I love sharing ideas and tutorials of how to make books and things to go with books. Today's tutorial is about making this envelope right here. This is an envelope that's designed so that it's strong enough and big enough that you can put little pieces of life little pieces of ephemera in it so that you can then take it and then place it in your book. I'm going to be using this book. It has one page for every week of the year and so every week I'll be pulling out my little envelope of goodies and then filling up the pages with things that I want to remember. So they tuck nicely right in. It has a little gusset so that it opens up nicely and I have a little magnetic closure to make sure things don't just kind of fall out. Let me show you how to make it. First you're going to want to have um, your paper. I used a digital and I printed it on cardstock and then I cut off that little trim that's on the outside. What I, we're going to be doing here is putting a couple creases in. Boom, boom. One is at four and a half inches and then you turn it around and do it at three quarters of an inches. So right there, turn it around and then make your marking at three quarters of an inch. So in case I didn't mention it, you do want to print both sides of your paper. Pick the side that you like most for the outside and go ahead and fold those edges in. So now we're going to be making the flap for the outside. Cut a piece that's the same size as the width of your paper. So what we're going to be doing is making a flap. You can see I already have some pieces there. This is a ruler that I like using. It's a Tim Holtz ruler. And see that zero right there? That helps me find the center of a piece of paper easily. If you don't have this ruler, I highly recommend it. So there's my center. That's the middle of the paper. And then I want to go down about four inches. So that's where I'm going to have the tip of my envelope. I'm going to line up that marking with the edge, that edge right there of the top of my envelope that we just folded over, and I'm going to make a line. Boom. Nice and easy. Take your scissors and go ahead and cut that out. For me, I want to make sure I do, I, I do a better job if I have my folder there or my cutting tool. So you can use your cutting tool, and if you follow that little line, on your tool it'll take you right to the point where you need to cut off. So I actually did that just on a piece of paper and I want to put it on this other piece of cardstock. The cardstock well, I couldn't really show you how to find the middle of it so I, I just go went ahead and put it on that. So once again I'm going to cut it nice and easy and now we're going to be gluing this on the envelope. Make sure it fits. Hold it on there. If you have to trim your edges a little bit, go ahead and trim. Take a little bit of glue. Put the glue on that flap edge, that little three quarters of an inch, and then place this, uh, your piece on top of it. I didn't bring mine to the very top. You see that little tiny ridge? I kind of like the look of that. And then it didn't risk... Um, being messed up as your hands went across the top. These are magnets that I'm going to use. So they do have little stickies on it, this particular brand, but the stickies aren't always very sticky. So I place a little bit of glue there. If you have something like score tape, you can put score tape over the top of that as well to keep it longer, or not longer, but just, just to secure it a little bit better. Right here, what I'm doing, I'm measuring the edges so that I can make sure the triangle is the same, uh, the edges are the same on both sides, so that I don't have an odd angled triangle. By putting this piece over the top, not only does it cover up your magnet, but it gives it more strength, so it has, as it has the pull from the other side of the magnet, it's not going to pull off your paper. Now that I have that there nicely, I need to position this on the other piece. That gets a little bit more tricky because you have to put it on the other side. Once you feel that you have it in the proper spot to get a good closure, and you can't tell, but I'm peeking it inside. it look good. So that's the spot that it's going to go. I put a little glue there, and it's going to hold on, and it sticks to the proper side of the page. Make sure if you get any glue on that top side, that you remove it. Once again I'm going to put a piece of paper over the top of that magnet. Now what you want to keep in mind as you do this, it doesn't have to go all the way across like I'm doing here. You do want to make sure it covers your magnet. 
and you do want to make sure that top layer um, has a nice glued down edge so that as you tuck things in inside it won't get caught on it. Now we're going to make the little gussets. You want to cut a two inch piece strip and you want two of those. I used just paper. I didn't use a cardstock. I thought it was just sufficient for that. I don't need it to be really stiff. Actually I think I wanted it um, not stiff specifically. So I just measure that to the side, do it by hand, and then we're going to fold it. You want to fold your printed page sides together and then fold that out like this and it makes a little M. See that M? Do it again. First fold goes to the inside. Then you got your two outside pieces and now you have a nice piece that you can glue in the inside of your book. Go ahead and give it a little test drive. Make sure it doesn't go too far up. That one's just a little bit up so I clip a little bit off and now we're going to do the gluing. We're going to do the gluing on the flap right there. So glue your edge and that raw edge piece is going to be going towards the inside and you have the M. You see how the M, M fits right there? So that raw edge here is going towards the inside. And let's see, you can see right there. See how that M shape is? You've got the two raw edges facing towards the inside. Go ahead and position that. Make sure your edges are nice and then give it a nice fold. Glue it up and then you want to carefully fold it closed and then check your edges too to make sure that they look good. I didn't do that here evidently but I, I would probably recommend it. Okay I want to put a doily on there. I cut it off for two reasons. I don't want the extra bulk in there but also you don't need to use all of it in there because you don't see it so that way you save some of your product so that you can also then save money, right? Go ahead and glue that on. Do a little press and you do want to check your inside to make sure you don't get glue on the inside that closes up your book. Okay. So that's kind of what I want the top to look like. It's got some paper lace edging that I'm going to punch out and then put on. So here's some, some edging, and actually this was some that was already pre-made. It was gold on one side and white on the other, and I decided, oh, that would be pretty with white on the outside. And then when you open it up, you have this splash of, of gold, just something really special. So I am giving that a try. Lining that up, being mindful of those two outside edges to make sure that point looks pretty. Here's a button. I made sure I uh, put some twine in there to make it look like it was actually in use. Sometimes I put buttons on and it just buttons without that little bit, little extra detail, but it's actually nice with it on. I glued it on and then there you go. Nice. Here's the little extra piece for the inside. It's not necessary, but it's just nice to add that little extra piece. Now I must say, as I looked at it, I decided the gold was just too much. It demanded too much attention. When you opened it up, it's like it was the star of the whole piece. When you opened it up, it, 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 your eye just went directly to it, and it was just too much. So what I did here, I took some paint to kind of dull it down a little bit. And there you go. Those are the two envelopes that I've made. Here is the little piece of the two of them together. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a try. It's a perfect thing for your journals as you gather things throughout the week. I'm loving doing it. So I'll show you the pages as I make them. If you want to see other videos, you can see the links up above. Go ahead and like it if you liked it and subscribe. I would love that too. Hope you have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.